from that sequence actually it will get every time next value so that sequence by default it will create starts with one increment by one only so once again if I insert once again if I insert what happens here one more record for that user 2 it will use so here also what it will do sequence next value it will select so like this sequence next values yes. sequence next values it will select from the default sequence the default sequence name is hibernate sequence so the default sequence order is starts with one increment by one only the default sequence internal structure is create the sequence the sequence name is hibernate sequence starts with one increment by one no cycle no catches so initially it will start from one and then for the next user for the next user insertion onwards it will increment it by plus one 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 in case if we don't want this sequence if you want to create your own sequence j and t use sequence in that sequence first number i want to start from 12 20 and i want to increment it by 1 12 20 then from there i want to increment it by plus 1 and 1 and 1 so that j and t use sequence i want to use here so then what you should do you need to create a custom sequence here in your database you need to create custom sequence how to write the sequence create sequence jntu underscore sequence this one name only okay jntu underscore sequence is name sequence starts with one increment by one no cycle no catch starts with 1 2 2 0 increment by 1 right what is the issue with this create sequence j into sequence start with start with or starts with start with increment by as an increment for this no cycle and no catchy no space finally sequence created ok this sequence name is what j into sequence how to configure that sequence in this xml file here in this xml file your student hbm.xml file here you can configure sequence in between generator and generator your sequence name as a parameter you can pass parameter name is sequence only name is sequence and the value you should pass here sequence value j into your sequence ok now I have custom sequence if I go through hbm to ddl option create what happens it will create one more sequence by using same name in that sequence it will maintain starts with one increment by one only 
in case of your custom sequence if you configure any custom sequences in this xml file if you put here hbm to ddl create by using that same name it will create one default default sequence so in case of custom sequence you better to keep here update or validate now test it already have a student table just i'll truncate data from the table describe table student truncate table student so now we have one sequence and we have one student table First student ID 1220. 1220. Again, if I insert, it will increment by plus one. Twelve twenty one, like this you will follow sequence here. Twelve twenty, twelve twenty one, twelve twenty two. This order it will follow. In case if you want to increment by plus two, twelve twenty, twelve twenty two, twelve twenty four, twelve twenty six, like that it will insert. Okay, your required custom sequence also you can use here. The next one is high. -low. The next one is high low here. So if I configure that high low, high and low, not high low. HI is high, LO is low, high low, okay, high and low, high and low, okay. So here configure high low instead of using sequence, here configure generator class, high low here. test by applying high low test it freshly i'll create one new table okay create so from first time deployment onwards you can understand what it will change at first time deployment if i insert data here student registration success id is one so internally what it is using it is creating a high low table from that high low table getting next high value that next high value inserting for this user yeah once again if i insert for the next user what it will use two so the same sequence order it will follow once again if i insert three once again if i insert four like this it will generate ids in case if i restart my application already I have four records already I have four records here it is following one sequence order one two three four if I restart my application here if I restart my application make changes on this HBM to DDL make this value update then restart your application okay already restarted in which you better to restart once again if you restart your application and once again if you try to insert if you try to insert here then it will change the order from 32767 plus 1, 32768. Once again, if I insert, 
six nine three two seven six seven seventy one like this that order it will follow here see after records one sequence order following then after four records three two seven six eight three two seven six nine order following once again if I restart my application then now also it will change the order Now if I insert, it will become 365536. If I try to insert, the same order it will follow. 327655356. This order it will follow. In case once again if I restart, it will change that order to 90,000. So for every restart, it will make that change. Order going through 98,000. Once again, if I restart, 1,20,000. Like that, it used to change its order. Okay. In this way, high low will work. So internally, high low will get next high value. Next high value after first time deployment, it will get one next high value. If it is zero, it will follow order one, two, three, four, five order. And for the next time, it will update one new value. That value it will insert one. Once again, if you restart, it will get that one. If it is one, it will follow order 32767. For the next time, it will update two value. If you do the restart, next time it will get the two value. If it is two, it will follow 65535 order. Finally, it will update your next high value to three. See here, it is updating your next high value. Previous high value one, it is updating to two. Again, two to three, three to four, like this it will update. If it is zero, the order is one to three, four. If it is one, uh, 3 to 7, 6, 7. If it, the, if it is the 2, 6, double, 5, 3. If it is 3, 98,000. If it is 4, 1, like 20,000. If it is 5, 1, like 50,000. So it will change its order on every restart. And we have a native also here. And we have a native also here. Here we have a native. If you go through that native, internally native can use sequence identity or high low I think sequence or identity or high low it will use so first once if I execute this native on MySQL what happens MySQL will not support sequence definitely it will choose Identity. If I run this native on Oracle, it will it will support sequence. So in case of Oracle, it will support sequence. In case if it is MySQL, it will go through identity. identity. In case if sequence and identity both are not supports, then it will go through high low. Okay. Just now it is in Oracle database itself. If I go through Oracle database. If I go through this Oracle database, my ID 3. Okay, for Oracle, what is what it is using here? Sequence. Already sequence values we use, right? One, two values. So or else fresh sequence if you want to create, make it create. Then insert values, fresh values it will insert. It will start with one. Sequence only using here, right, internally. But we are applied, we applied what? Native. For native, why it is using sequence? Arc will support sequence so that it is using sequence here. But if you go through MySQL, in MySQL also use create and in this student XML file, use schema test. And here configure mysql xml file mysql.cfg.xml file 
so you can see here for mysql native will use which technique generally it will go through identity internal generated queries you can see here it is creating one table id integer not null auto increment auto increment for which case it will use identity only right so internally it is using identity okay